Do you ever see those men who flaunt every picture like it's fire and rake in hundreds of likes, leaving you wondering, what's the secret sauce? Stick with me, and I'll be revealing the ultimate secrets to looking effortlessly cool and relaxed in front of the camera, finding those killer angles and working those outfits and accessories to capture dynamic, candid shots that scream, wow. By the end of this video, you'll be the one flaunting every picture like it's a masterpiece. Alright, without any BS, let's talk about the foremost thing, understanding your body. Now, this is where the magic starts, guys. Knowing your body type is like having a roadmap to looking absolutely stunning in every photo. It's about understanding what works best for you and flaunting it. Whether you're tall, short, muscular, or slim, there's a way to work it and make every shot a masterpiece. Now, let's talk about posture and alignment. Good posture can be the difference between a photo that's there eh, and a photo that's whoa. So, Keep that back straight, shoulders back, and let the camera see the confident you. And here's the real kicker. Emphasizing your strengths and minimizing those perceived flaws. We've all got them, those little things we wish were different. But here's the deal. It's all about working with what you've got and making it shine. You got great eyes? Let them be the focus. Love your smile? Flash those pearly whites. It's all about embracing your unique features and letting them steal the spotlight. All right, moving on. Remember, confidence is key. Now, we all know confidence is that secret ingredient that can turn any average Joe into a head turner. It's that undeniable vibe that makes you stand out and shine in every photo. When you're confident, it's like you're speaking a universal language that says, I'm comfortable in my skin and I own it. And trust me, the camera can sense it. But wait, how does this magical confidence translate through the camera, you ask? Well, it's all about the energy you bring. When you're feeling good about yourself, it reflects in your eyes, your smile, your posture, and every little detail in the photo. It's like a radiant light that makes every picture of yours pop and sizzle. Now, let's spill the beans on how to boost that confidence before a shoot. First off, pump yourself up with some positive affirmations. Tell yourself you look good, feel good, and that you're gonna rock this shoot. Next up, dress in your favorite clothes, the ones that make you feel like a million bucks. When you love what you're wearing, it shows. And don't forget to strike a power pose before the shoot. It's scientifically proven to boost your confidence levels. Don't worry about the poses. I've got you covered for the posing techniques as well. It's time to learn the secrets that make you look like you've been doing this for years. First things first, flaunt the natural and relaxed poses. Now, this is crucial, guys. The key to a great photo is to appear as natural and relaxed as possible. Think about David Gandhi or Tyson Beckford. They make posing look so effortless, right? It's about being in the moment and letting your true self shine through. Avoid those overly posed or forced postures. They just scream trying too hard. Instead, go for poses that make you feel comfortable and easy. Just be you, not a mannequin. Remember, the more natural you are, the more appealing and relatable your photos will be. And here's the golden nugget. Use candid shots to capture those authentic moments. It's those unplanned, spontaneous shots that often turn out to be the real gems. They capture the essence of who you are and create a connection with the viewer. But let's be real, not every picture has to feel like a photo shoot. Here are some good selfie ideas that make your social media pics feel more natural. The simple gym selfie, the jawline selfie, and the faceless selfie. I recommend trying all of them out and spicing up your feed. Now, this is where we get to play around and have some fun with what we're wearing, utilizing accessories and clothing correctly. It adds that extra spice to your photos. These aren't just there to make you look good, they're there to help you pose. Use the accessories to give your hands something to do. Ever noticed how models are always playing around with their accessories and clothes in photos? Be it adjusting a tie, flipping a jacket, or casually holding a pair of sunglasses. It's all about creating movement and interest in the photo. For example, think about how Chris Hemsworth makes simply adjusting his cuff look like a scene from a movie. It's all about the vibe, dudes. Not to forget, incorporating movement brings your photos to life. It adds that dynamic, candid feel that makes the viewer stop and look. So. Don't be afraid to play around and try different things. Flip that jacket, adjust that hat, and let's get those effortlessly cool shots. Diving into the next juicy bit, knowing your angles. Now, this is the secret sauce in those killer photos you see and think, man, how do they look so good? Well, it's about finding that sweet spot, your golden angle that makes you look like a snack. When you know your good angles, you're in control. You know how to present yourself in the best light, showing off your unique features and personality. It's like having an ace up your sleeve, ready to pull out whenever you need to make an impression. Now, here's the fun part. Don't be afraid to experiment. Play around with different angles to see what works and what doesn't. 
Discover what makes you look and feel cool and what accentuates your vibe. There's no one size fits all here, so go wild and find what makes you stand out. Straight on shots? Nah, we don't know you. Using angles is like adding a dash of spice to your photos. It adds dimension, depth, and dynamism. It's what turns a bland photo into a masterpiece. Avoiding the straight on shots means avoiding the mundane, the ordinary. All right, gents, let's tackle this final beast, shooting in public. I know this can be a bit of a tricky one, but hey, no one said taking fire pics was going to be a walk in the park. So, shooting in public. Yeah, it can be awkward. You're out there in the open, everyone's watching, and it's like you're on stage. But here's the deal. It's about overcoming that awkwardness. It's about owning the moment, owning the space, and saying, yeah, I'm here to take some epic shots. Got a problem with that? Now, dealing with the attention and those curious stares, it's part of the game. People are going to look, they're going to wonder, but bro, let them. Let them see the confidence, the energy, the badassery. Make them turn those heads for all the right reasons and feed off that energy. Be that center of attention and enjoy every damn second of it. Think of public shooting as a muscle. It might be uncomfortable at first. It might feel weird, but the more you flex it, the stronger it gets. It'll help you build that resilience, that thick skin, and turn every public space into your personal photo studio. That's all for today, my men. Remember, every shot is a chance to showcase your fire, to turn the ordinary into extraordinary. So go out there, be bold, be confident, and let's make every frame a freaking masterpiece. And hey, if you enjoyed these blazing tips, smash that subscribe button.